but first. They're lined up just waiting for the starting signal, and they're off. The Plastic Spectators and Telltale track make it clear that this is classic Scale Electric's model car racing. Long before PlayStations and Nintendo, Scale Electric's was a must-have toy for boys. It's still popular today, and a key part of its winning formula is the attention to detail on the model cars. Designers will spend hours analysing each new race car to help them create a model that looks as much like the real thing as possible. Once all the research has been done, another design team will go about drawing up plans for a new model car. And where does the company transform its designs into real replicas? Well, it's China, of course, famous for its cost-effective production. This toy factory outside Hong Kong is where the race to make model cars will be won. Like many modern toys, replica models are made out of plastic. Granules are fed into injection molding machines to be melted and shaped into the toy parts. Of course, it's not only the cars that need to be crafted, the racetrack is also made out of the plastic. This metal shape is the mould for a Formula One Ferrari. The model car bodies that emerge are red, but not Ferrari red. However, attention to detail means that each part gets coated in exactly the right shade. Each model will be sprayed with five layers of the paint to ensure a solid surface. They're then left to dry before the more detailed work is done. Around 2,000 staff work at this factory, and there can be anything up to 4,000 separate steps involved to create a full model race set. Much of the work here is so detailed it must be done by hand, like painting a visor onto the driver's helmet. For the larger parts, a technique similar to silk screening is used. The screen only lets paint through to the specific parts that need colouring, like the markings on this piece of track. When it comes to the more intricate details, a finer printing method is needed. The miniature Prancing Stallion logo is printed onto the plastic using special stamps that have the design etched on the tips. When all of the detailed work is complete, the scale model should look almost exactly like the real thing, down to the tiniest sponsor's logo. Now it's all very well getting the look right, but these model cars are meant to race too, so the engine and wheels must be attached next. First, the imitation tyres are fitted. Like the real thing, they're made of rubber. They'll help the model to grip the plastic tracks just like the tyres on a real racing car. And the most important part of the F1 model is its engine. While it won't have the raw power of a real Ferrari motor, it will be fit for racing on a living room floor. Scale Electric's cars are powered by electricity from the tracks. Metal pickups attached to the front of the car feed power to a small generator that spins the wheels. Before they leave the factory, the models are tested to make sure the wheels are working properly. Now, some of you may have noticed that the tracks are made of plastic, which doesn't conduct electricity. That's what these metal strips are for. They're inserted to carry electricity from the power supply to the metal pickups on each car. Once the full racing set has been tried and tested, it's packaged up, ready to be sent out to toy stores everywhere. Each kit contains enough track to build a looping course, a power connector with a handy plug, and two different replica cars for some great head-to-head -head racing. Using a real lorry, not a replica one, the kits are then taken to the docks for their long journey to countries all over the world. 
So, whether you're racing your friends or just trying to beat your own lap record, Replica Racing is an exhilarating way to experience the thrills of the racetrack in your own home.